Ford and GM executives must have been watching at the edge of their seats as the highly disruptive Elon Musk unveiled the Cybertruck, but they were relieved and the shareholders were disappointed. Some argued that it was the looks or the lackluster presentation after the shattered glass, but the real problem with the Cybertruck is that it's just a pickup truck and not a platform like the Ford F-Series and other trucks in this category. Many are quick to spec out an F-150 and compare it to the Cybertruck, and often Tesla wins, but that misses the whole point. Trucks like the F-Series are more than a pickup. It's a configurable platform that can serve as the basis for many vehicles on the road, such as ambulances, delivery trucks, motorhomes, shuttle buses, or anything that a customer needs. There's also heavy-duty F-Series trucks that can tow north of 30,000 pounds. Customers can choose a three-seater or six-seater cab with a long or a short bed. They can even ditch the bed altogether for their own build, or they can ditch the bed and the cab, which is what third-party manufacturers can do to build things like custom delivery trucks. Having options like this can be very valuable. Let's say that you just need a work truck that's strictly used for carrying heavy payloads or towing. You can have a three-seater 4x4 base F250 Super Duty pickup truck for just $38,000 and it can tow 15,000 pounds or carry a 3,700 pound payload, which is about as capable as a $70,000 Cybertruck. Because Tesla chose to build the Cybertruck on a unibody design, it can only be a six-seater pickup truck with one bed option. It's also why it has that triangular shape due to the sail pillars that are needed to make the chassis stronger kind of like the old Avalanche and Ridgeline. For Tesla to accommodate different configurations, they would need to design an entirely new unibody for each spec, which is very expensive. With a traditional truck's body-on-frame approach, a single frame can cheaply fulfill many different configurations. In my opinion, this is where Tesla dropped the ball on a huge opportunity. If Tesla built an electric body-on-frame truck with customizable battery, cab, bed, and motor configurations, Ford, General Motors, and Fiat Chrysler would be in huge trouble. Tesla could even sell stripped chassis to third-party manufacturers that can build custom vehicles for companies like FedEx and UPS that would love to go electric. Companies like Amazon see the huge cost advantages of electric delivery vans, which is why they invested hundreds of millions of dollars into Rivian and placed an order for over 100,000 vans. When it comes to EV powertrain and battery technology, nobody comes close to Tesla. For example, to get 300 miles of range out of the Mach-E, Ford needed a large 98 kilowatt hour battery paired with a less powerful but more efficient electric motor. When Ford brought performance to the equation with the GT version, range crumbled to 250 miles. It's the same story for other performance EVs like the 234 mile I-Pace, 204 mile e-tron, and 230 mile Taycan. Tesla, on the other hand, is capable of achieving optimal efficiency without sacrificing performance. The Model X performance gets 305 miles of range with a similar battery to the Mach-E GT, but its electric motors can bring the larger 2.5 ton Tesla from 0 to 60 in just 2.7 seconds. It's no contest, Tesla is years ahead of everyone. For the pickup, if Tesla chose a traditional body-on-frame design and leveraged their superior battery and powertrain technology, the Cybertruck would have been a grand slam that could have been a serious, unquestionable threat to the traditional ICE trucks. Instead, the Cybertruck is just a super cool, highly capable six-seater pickup truck, and from a business perspective, that's a shame. Or maybe not. Let me know what you think in the comments.